Okay, let's look at some of the coin problems. Jack and Betty have 28 coins that are nickels and dimes. If, they value, if the value of the coins is $1.95, how many of each type do they have? So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to write down what we know. Okay, we know we have nickels. We know we have dimes. Well, we know the value of a nickel is 0 0.05. The value of the dime is 0.10. Okay, do we know how many of each one of these we have? Well, no, all I know is I have 28 coins altogether. So I'm going to say that I have n nickels. Okay, so if I have n nickels, how many dimes do I have? Well, I have 28 coins altogether, and if I take out all of the nickels, I'm only going to be left with the dimes. Okay, now we need to figure out the value. So if I've got two nickels, I know that's worth 10 cents, right? And I find that by multiplying. I'm going to do the same thing here, except here I don't know how many nickels I have. I know I just have n. So 0 0.05 times n is 0.05n. Now the dimes, I have 10 cents times the number of dimes. I just have a crazy number. My number is 28 minus n. So I'm going to have to distribute when I multiply. So 28 times 0.10 is 2.8, but I'm going to write it as 2.80 because we're talking about money. 0.10 times negative n is going to be minus 0.10n. And I know that if I add all of the value of my nickels plus the value of my dimes, I'm going to get a dollar and ninety-five cents. So now I've just created my equation. So I have 0.05n plus the value of my dimes, two dollars and eighty cents minus 0.10n. All of that added together is equal to a dollar ninety-five. So now I'm going to combine my like terms. I have 0.05n and minus 0.10n. I'm going to subtract the small number from the large number and keep the sign of the large. So when I do that, I have negative 0.05n. And notice I wasn't moving it across the equal sign, so I'm just combining my like terms. I'm not using any inverse operations at this point. So plus 2.80 is equal to $1.95. Now I'm going to still try to get in by itself. I'm going to subtract $2.80 from each side. So now I have negative. 0.05n is equal to, let's see, $1.95 minus $2.80. And remember, when you're adding and subtracting decimals, it's vital that you keep your decimal places lined up. So when I subtract that, I get negative 0.85, because you subtract the small number from the large number, keep the sign of the large. Now I'm going to divide both sides by negative 0.05, divide by negative 0.05, and I get n is equal to 17. And because I was careful when I chose my variable, I chose n for nickels, I don't have to go back and guess what I found. I know that I have 17 nickels. And if I have 17 nickels, I know that my dimes are 28 minus however many nickels. So 28 minus 17 is equal to 11. So I know that my dimes, I have 11 dimes and 17 nickels. You know, be careful on these. You will never have a decimal or fraction answer because you can't have a piece of a coin. So your answers will always be positive whole numbers. 
and a way that you can check to make sure that you're correct is you can say, okay, I've got 17 nickels. I'm going to multiply 17 times 0 0.05, and I'm going to add it to, I've got 11 dimes, 11 times 0 0.10, and when I perform this calculation, I should get $1.95. So let's check that out real quick. Okay, so 17 times 0 0.05, that gives me 85 cents. plus the 11 times 10 cents is $1.10. 85 cents plus $1.10 is equal to $1.95. So my work checks out. Okay, now let's take a look at number six. The nickels and dimes all fell on the floor. There were 12 more nickels than dimes. The total value of the coins was $5.10. How many nickels and how many dimes were on the floor? So we're going to look at what they give us. They tell us that we're talking about nickels and dimes. Okay, we already know the value of both of those. 0 0.05 for nickels. 0 0.10 for dimes. And I know that the total amount of money is $5.10. So when I add the total value of my nickels plus the total value of my dimes, it's going to equal $5.10. Now let's see what we know about the number. Well, it doesn't give me a total number this time. This time they worded a little different. There were 12 more nickels than dimes. So now I'm going to say, well, if I have D dimes, how many nickels do I have? Oh, I've got 12 more. So I'm going to have however many dimes plus 12 for my nickels. And then once again, I'm going to do just everything like I did before. I'm going to multiply the value of my nickels times how many nickels I have. I just have a funny number. I have D plus 12. So 0 0.05 times D gives me 0 0.05 D. 0 0.05 times 12. When I multiply that, I get a positive 0 0.60. 0 0.10 times D gives me 0.10D. And I now have my equation that I can solve. So I have 0 0.05D plus 0 0.60 plus 0 0.10D is equal to five dollars and ten cents. I'm going to combine my like terms. I have a positive 0.05d and a positive 0.1d. I'm not moving anything across the equal sign, so I know that I have 0.05 plus 0.10. That gives me 0.15d. Bring down my 0.60 plus 0.60 is equal to five dollars and ten cents. Well I still need to isolate my variable which is D. I'm going to subtract 0.60 from both sides. Being careful to make sure those decimal places are lined up. So now I have 0.15 D is equal to Let's see, four dollars and fifty cents. Now I'm going to divide both sides by 0.15. So now I have D is equal to see 450 divided by 0.15. Okay, oh that gives me 30. So I know that I have 30 dimes. Well, if I have 30 dimes, my nickels are D plus 12. So my number of nickels is equal to the number of dimes, which is 30, plus 12, which is equal to 42. So I have 42 nickels and 30 dimes. Now I can always go back and check and make sure I didn't make a mistake. I know I see 
immediately, I don't think I made a mistake because I've got whole numbers, no decimals, no negatives. So let's see what we have. We've got 30 times 0.10, the value of a dime, plus how many nickels I have. I've got 42 nickels times 0.05, and I'm hoping that that equals $5.10. Okay, well, 30 times 0.10, 30 times, oh, that's $3. Let's see what 42 times 0.05 is. Clear, 42 times 0.05. That is $2.10. Three plus 2.10 is equal to $5.10. I got exactly what I needed. So you can always, always check your work. I am going to ask that you don't guess and check because if you guess and check, you will not have enough time to finish our test or quiz when we have one.